Hello friends, let us discuss classification of enzymes. Tell me, what do you understand by the names of these enzymes? Sucrase, that means it is going to hydrolyze sucrose into glucose and fructose. Lactase, it is going to act on lactose, it is going to hydrolyze lactose into glucose and galactose. RNAs, that means it is going to break ribonucleic acid, that is RNA, right? Pyruvate carboxylase, as the name suggests, it is going to add carbon dioxide to pyruvate. Malate dehydrogenase, it is going to remove electrons from malate. What is the product? For both pyruvate carboxylase and malate dehydrogenase, the product is same, that is your oxaloacetate. Don't worry, we will discuss the entire metabolism in our videos. If you have not studied this portion, we will study it together. What about this enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase? This means this enzyme is going to hydrolyze glucose 6-phosphate into glucose and inorganic phosphate. So, by looking at the name, you can guess the action of the enzymes, right? For this set, what about this set of enzymes? Tylin, trypsin, pepsin, catalase. See, catalase. Catalase is an enzyme which catalyzes the reaction. But which reaction it is catalyzing? What about diaphorase? Any idea? Any clue? Flip base, it's going to flip that we can guess. But what is being flipped? We don't know. So, just by looking at the name, we cannot guess the action of this set of enzymes. So, to avoid ambiguity, EC number, that is enzyme commission number, is proposed by International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. So, IUBMB classified enzymes and it gave enzyme commission number. Each enzyme has a four digit EC number. For instance, A, B, C, D. So, A is class, B is subclass, C is sub subclass and D is the unique number for the individual enzyme. So, there is no need to memorize the EC number of the enzymes. Never ever try to do that. Just for fun, I will tell you what is EC 1.1.1.1. Can you guess what is this enzyme? This enzyme is alcohol dehydrogenase. There is absolutely no need to memorize EC number of any enzyme. Okay. Then what should you memorize? You have to memorize the class. Look at this. What is this first digit? First digit belongs to enzyme class. So you have to know how many enzyme classes are there. That is all. Okay. So EC1, we have seen that it is oxido reductase. Okay. So this is one of the classes of enzymes. There are seven enzyme classes. Okay. So what are they? It's very easy to remember O T H L I L T. Okay. O T H L I L T. So this is the mnemonic for remembering the seven classes of enzymes. We will discuss each class briefly. So, the first class of enzymes we have already learned that is oxidoreductase. So, these are the enzymes that catalyze biological oxidation reactions. So, in a video, we have already discussed biological oxidation in detail. So, in that video, I have already explained the four subclasses. The mnemonic for that is food. So, I have given the example for Oxidoreductase, like for example, see, catalase belongs to the category of 
hydro peroxidase right and i have differentiated oxidase oxygenase and dehydrogenase using this table in that video very clearly so if you have not watched that video you can watch this video after watching this video okay so complete this video then go and watch the video on biological oxidation all right so enzyme class 1 is oxido reductase let us focus on the other enzyme classes see this is ac2 that is transferase o t h l i l t so this order is very very important so t is ec2 so this is what transferase so transferase it catalyzes the transfer of groups like phosphate group amino group and all let us look at one example hexokinase the first and flux generating enzyme of glycolysis is catalyzed by hexokinase so this enzyme is a transferase so what is it transferring it is transferring phosphoryl group from atp to the oh group of glucose in the sixth carbon so this is a phosphotransferase so all kinases are phosphotransferases right so atp is the source of phosphoryl group all right so there are many other transferases so what are they so they are look at this amino transferase so there are enzymes known as alt alt is sgpt ast that is sgot alt is alanine transaminase ast is aspartate transaminase dna polymerase and rna polymerase also belong to the category of transferases all right so what is the third class of enzyme remember the mnemonic o t h so the third is h h stands for hydrolase you all know hydrolases are the enzymes which break molecules with the help of water right all the digestive enzymes are hydrolases see i will give you another example which is not a digestive enzyme what is this glutaminase so this enzyme hydrolyzes glutamine to glutamate and ammonia right water is used in breaking the bonds so what is the next class o t h l so here l stands for lyase so in hydrolase we broke the bond with the help of water so in lyase there is cleavage of bond without using water also there is formation of double bond look at one example aldolase is an enzyme of glycolysis so it's going to break the bond without the help of water see this this six carbon compound fructose 16 bisphosphate six carbon compound which has two phosphates is broken into two three carbon compounds and each compound has only one phosphate monophosphate the fifth category is isomerase you all know what are isomers and all so it's very easy to understand this isomerase catalyzes rearrangement of atoms within the molecule intramolecular rearrangement let us take the example of glycolysis right triose phosphate isomerase so in the previous reaction what we have seen we have seen that dhap and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate they are produced what are they they are isomers of each other right so they can be inter converted the sixth class is ligase so guys you should not confuse ligase and ligase see o t h l i l right so ec4 is ligase whereas enzyme class 6 is ligase 
don't change their numbers it's very very important so ligase belongs to the sixth enzyme class as the name suggest in english what is the meaning of ligation joining right hmm? so in hindi we call this as jodna right so lyase and hydrolase they break right so in hindi we say it is todna okay so lyase and hydrolase they do todne ka kaam that is breaking ligase it does jodne ka kaam that is joining to join you need some glue right so that glue here is atp okay just for memorizing i am telling you so atp is like a glue here okay so atp helps in this ligation so there can be carbon carbon bond formation there can be carbon nitrogen bond formation so look at this glutamate is converted to glutamine so here which kind of bond so it's amide bond right so amide bond is being formed right so it is carbon nitrogen bond look at the name of the enzyme so it has t synthetase so there are synthases and synthetases you should know the difference between these two so synthase will not use atp so whenever you see the name synthetase this t is very very important so synthetase means it is going to use atp so t in synthetase remember it is atp right so wherever you see the name synthetase carbamyl phosphate synthetase that means that enzyme is going to use atp so all synthetases they belong to the category of ligase right in old textbooks they only mention six classes of enzymes in new books you will see that there is seventh class of enzyme that is translocase so initially this ion channels they were not considered as enzymes but recently they started considering ion channels like sodium potassium atpas also as enzyme so sodium potassium atpas it pumps three sodium out to potassium in right so this is also considered as an enzyme so let me quickly summarize so this is the table from my book so there are six classes there is seventh class also which i have mentioned in the book so o t h l i l t so you can see the definition oxido reductase catalyze redox reaction transferase group transfer hydrolase cleavage of bonds with the use of water lyase without water isomerase rearrangement of atoms ligase atp mediated joining so examples you all know hood hood right in biological oxidation video it's clearly explained transferase i gave you examples right all proteases all digestive enzymes are hydrolases lyase very very important see this aconitase aldolase enolase fumarase this four you should remember so this four you remember so they are lyases okay whereas look at this isomerase it's very simple the name will be isomerase or epimerase epimers are type of isomers it is is going to shift one group from a particular carbon to the another carbon right so that is mutase mutase is going to shift right we will discuss all these things in further videos finally what is ligase look at this biotin dependent carboxylases glutamine synthetase dna ligase ubiquitin ligase so they are all coming under which category ligase category uh, seventh class which we have already learned that is translocase here are the examples arnithine translocase carnitine acyl carnitine translocase in the name itself there is translocase sodium potassium atps so translocase 
so that means it's going to change the location right so this is all about enzyme classification so there are seven classes of enzyme o t h l i l t so you need to remember very few examples for each enzyme class there is no need to memorize for each and every enzyme there is no need to do so with this i complete this lesson i hope you have understood the concepts i have explained please share this video with your friends thank you for watching happy learning